Hello, hello, hello. It's still me. It's still the same day. Hello. Um, again, I don't, I don't try to address, address topics I haven't had some personal experience on, so I'm going to address this one quickly. Um, I had been taking a over, uh, not over the counter. I had been taking a prescription antibiotic, and was off of it for a few days, and had a reason I went back on it, and I did fine on it the first time, and had had it before. It was a cephalosporin drug. I'm going to forget the name right now. Cephalosepsil, I guess it was C E F C I L. I think it was cephalosepsil, cephalosporin drug. No, it wasn't cephalosepsil, was it? It'll come back to me. It was a cephalosporin drug that I had been taking and uh, stopped for a few days and then started taking it again and had a severe allergic reaction. I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened, but uh, I started itching in several different places and my ears were burning and well, like my chest itched quite a lot and my ears were burning. I was, burn I was having itching and burning in lots of places and, you know, just not, not digging my fingernails into my skin, but constantly itching. And so I quickly took a dose of liquid Benadryl and headed over to the clinic in town. And they gave me prednisone, a uh, cortisone type drug. At any rate, it's if you have liquid Benadryl, or diphenhydramine or whatever it is, you have to look at the active ingredient. If you look at the active ingredient on it and then you want to buy the store brand, just check the active ingredient on the store brand to make sure that's what you've got, that it's liquid Benadryl, that it's the same thing. I think it's diphenhydramine, D-Y-P-H-E-N, hydramine, H-Y-D-R-A-M-I-N-E, I think. I'm too lazy to get up and look. I'm sorry, I think I have a bottle someplace, but that is one of the first things that I would put into storage after food and water because in an emergency, it could be possibly life-saving. Now, if you have a child that's got a, a severe allergy to something like peanut butter, you probably have an EpiPen. But if uh, if you couldn't get to a doctor and get cortisone, prednisone shot, uh, you would want the Benadryl at least. If you, if, you know, there, there just would be lots of circumstances. My child, when he was young, had a welt came into me and he had a welt about that big, almost that big, bigger than a bigger than a silver dollar on his leg and it didn't look good and it swelled and it was raised quite a lot. And so I got on the phone and called the doctor's office and they put me in touch with a lady that had a book and the lady that had a book read me the directions and she said give him Bened liquid Benadryl and liquid Motrin. That was before he became allergic to Motrin. <laughs> Um, ibuprofen. So I gave him, I had already given him, I had already given him, <laughs> I'm going to get all twisted here, I already given him the liquid Benadryl and I'd already given him the liquid Motrin. So when I called and talked to the lady that answered the doctor's telephone service thing, she said it probably is a spider bite. And I said, yeah, that's what I figured. It was probably a spider bite. And uh, she said, give him liquid Benadryl and ibuprofen, liquid, Advil or, Mo Advil or Motrin or both ibuprofen. And so I had already done that and she said if it gets any worse or this or this or this happens, call us back and we'll, you know, have you come in. So, um, I'm not a medical person and I don't pretend to be, but they're over-the-counter items and if you have children and they're not allergic to the ibuprofen, I would always keep even if you don't have kids, I would always keep liquid Benadryl. Liquid, I'd say liquid Benadryl. You could use the pills, but I would say liquid Benadryl because I think it would hit your system quicker and soak into your, the wall of your stomach quicker and get to your bloodstream a little quicker. But again, I'm not a medical person, so I don't know for sure. But I, I would prefer the liquid, and you can get it down a child's throat easier. Um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I think that's it. And you still probably are going to want to go to the doctor and get the cortisone shot if you have an allergic drug reaction. Again, I need to say, check with your medical professional and don't follow my advice because I'm here. But it's an over-the-counter thing. You can make your own choice about doing that. Or you can check with your medical professional. But I would not do this in place of seeing somebody if I had an allergic response. I did both. And, in fact, I think they followed me up with prednisone pills after that, if I recall correctly, cortisone. Done, done, done. <laughs>
enough said. Thanks. I don't know how long it is. I can't see it. Bye.